I'm in the middle of a late night gaming sesh, and my buddy Vulcan on Xbox One, he's telling me about this guy. Ah, shit, I'm probably gonna say his name wrong. It's like DJ McSmooth or whatever. And he does a cappella versions of video game music, usually classic stuff. And I was thinking, yeah, you know, I think I heard about this. I, I just previously, a few days ago, I had come across his uh, Mega Man theme. And yeah, I mean, it's respectable. He does a good job at what he does. Does he deserve to be making like 5,000 bucks per video? No, he doesn't. Here's why. He's not writing the music, but he's cashing in, isn't he? You're only listening to him because he is singing about stuff you already know about. You did the search for the Mario theme, you found him. You were looking for Mega Man like me, you found him. Are these skills that people deserve to be making a living by? You know, just raping somebody else's talent? and pandering to the nostalgia niche. I'm an old school gamer, I like everything old school. Uh, yeah, I've got some extra money. Here, take it. Just keep the old school music shit coming. Meanwhile, I've got one Patreon donor. I make original content. Hell, a shitload of the stuff I post has nothing to do with gouging search results on somebody else's merits. I get one donor for one buck, and as of this time, I have less than 200 subscribers, and I've been going for like uh, nearly a year. Welcome to YouTube.